I've been at Light of Life for 22 years as a staff, 25 other than that. So I have three years as a client and then I became staff. I work with the Women and Children's Program as a case manager. I do intakes and bringing women in from other programs throughout the city of Pittsburgh. Um, and once we get them into our program, we get to know them to help them stay clean and sober, helping them move forward in life staying clean, and building a relationship with Christ mainly too. So they'll get a care plan and it will consist of goals of meetings, um, church, those type of things, their therapists. I came in and light of life from using crack cocaine and just hit bottom. All my life, you know, I knew what type of person I was, but being caught up in my addiction, I, I, I didn't know how I got there but I needed a way out. The first year while I was there, I learned that I had a hunger for God. Um, my heart was just open to have that relationship with God. I had the willingness to do whatever I needed to do to stay clean and sober. I realized I had that serving spirit and I just continued to stay clean and sober. And I guess as years went on, just blossom into the women I, I am today. I try to tell people, never say never, because you never know what's going to happen to you. As soon as you're saying never, and as soon as you're uh, judging someone and putting someone down, it will happen to you. It will turn around and happen to you. And I try to explain to people, um, it can happen to anybody. I don't care who you are. You know, like I said, I have 25 years clean and sober, but I'm only promised just for the day, just this moment, you know, because at any given time, it could turn around and just for whatever reason, even if I don't use, you know, my behaviors and my action, they could turn around and I could be homeless too. So I try to tell people, don't judge a book by its cover. Don't judge anyone because they've been homeless. You know, I have my moments in life where I feel unworthy. And I don't know if that's just from a deep down root from childhood trauma. But I know today, you know, from building a relationship with Christ, a lot of times I just have to remind myself that I'm a daughter of a king and I can do anything through him. One of my favorite scriptures is Philippians 4.13 that I can do all things through Christ to strengthen me. That scripture has gotten me through so much turmoil and pain being clean and sober. I use it and it just gives me strength, it gives me hope, it gives me power, it gives me joy. And I try to get the women, you know, find a favorite scripture that you can use and re repeat constantly in your life when you're going through things, even the good and the bad, I have used that scripture. And I've gotten through so many things in life. What gives me hope, I look at myself um, and where I started from and where I'm at today. And I explain that to the women and I have other women in my life that came through Light of Life that have more clean time than me. That gives me hope too. If God can do it for me, he could do it for anybody because I didn't believe I could stay clean as long as I have.